All right, an NFL player spent 14 grand on two beers. And what happens when a coach says that he really thinks uh, what he really thinks in a post game interview? Confused? Well, you won't be after this installment of a Weird World of Sports. Weird! Yes, and it is indeed weird, guys. Uh, the Chargers suffered another crushing defeat last night, this time against the Cowboys. Are you okay? Look, it's. It is what it is. Uh, the star of the game was not Dak Prescott, the Cowboys quarterback. It was not jo uh, um, Josh, uh, uh, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, the Chargers quarterback. It wasn't even their coach making terrible decisions. It was this woman who has gone viral for her over-the-top oh. reactions. <laughs> I mean, she was into it. In fact, some people think a little too into it. Oh. One person tweeted the video and suggested, perhaps tongue in cheek, I'm not sure, mm -hmm. that she's a plant, that the NFL paid somebody <laughs> to pretend to be a Chargers fan, <laughs> noting that the stadium in Los Angeles was packed with Cowboys fans. Another person even pointed out, look at the bottom one there, the guy in the back, yeah. he seems to be a little too jocular as well. Oh, I see. <laughs> like that this is fake enthusiasm. Could it yeah. be AI? I don't know. A lot of people were into the conspiracy theory. One tweeter claimed that they were in the same box as that oh, woman okay. and said that she is a real fan. Huh. So, so somebody, I feel, knows who she is. It's going to come to light. Maybe, but just if you are the owner of the Los Angeles Chargers, <laughs> the team is so unpopular that when people see a fan reacting, they think, <laughs> think nobody weird. could possibly care that much about the Chargers. Oh, man. That hurts. Anyway. How about some golf? Okay. okay. Another sport. <laughs> <laughs> the top box is yeah. my favorite. Uh -huh. Uh, how about yeah, some golf, guys? Another sport that I love and also drives me nuts, like the Chargers. Uh, the World Long Drive Championship starts this week, and I think we may have a new favorite. Have a look at this. Oh, that's it! That's it! Oh, my God. That's it! That's right, it. Wait, how far? What? That's not even half of it. That's Kyle. I guess it is more than half of it. Uh, that's Kyle Berkshire. Okay, he just set, I guess, kind of an unofficial world record for the longest drive. 579.63 yards. Oh. Now, for some perspective, yeah. if some dude at your local course can hit it 300, right. that's, that's crazy pretty far. far. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, he's probably lying. He probably hits it about 250. <laughs> <laughs> But this guy. Every legit. guy thinks they hit it farther than they do. <laughs> we, we struggle with estimating distances. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> now, Berkshire had some things working in his favor there. First of all, that was at Rochelle Ranch Golf Course in Rollins, Wyoming. Okay. Which is about 7,000 feet above sea level. Also, According to his post on Instagram, he had about a 20 mile per hour tailwind. Oh, okay. Oh. His stance is bananas. Yeah, this is like what the long drivers do. It's not like what you would expect it's to not see for a tour. Yeah. Okay. Um, all, but also it was a little bit cold and rainy, so had that working against him. Yeah. Uh, by the way, what's the previous record, you ask? Yes, yeah, what is, what is it? Unclear. Uh, the Guinness Book of World Records uh, recognizes only drives hit in competition. From what I could tell, based on my internet research, that is 515 yards. Okay. So nonetheless, even with the wind and elevation, he was significantly past he that. He smacked it. Mm. For sure. Oh. Wow. Uh, guys, Buffalo Bills wide receiver Stephon Diggs is making good on a promise to reimburse a fan for a touchdown celebration. The Buffalo Bills official Twitter account tweeted out a picture of two beers with the caption, Beers on Steph. Mm. There's also a note that says there next to the beers handwritten, I told you I got you beers on me, signed Steph. Now, what's this all about? Yeah. It all goes back to a game a couple weeks ago where Diggs scored a touchdown. That's going to take a bit. Here's the touchdown. Okay, da da da. We're going to celebrate by going into the stands. Okay. Grabbing this fan's beers and smashing them together. Oh, celebration. oh, oh, <laughs> drink beer. Uh, uh, fans point out those beers are expensive. Stadium beers, I'll bet. Yeah, uh, for Diggs, though, they were really expensive because he was fined $14,000 for using a prop in the celebration. Really? Oh. So you can't do that. 
Harold. Oh. I just think about is there a worse smell than dry, oh. stale beer? Mm, no. Mm. That's awful. The, now, there's a possibility. If you combine it with football pads. Ew, sick. Mm -mm. Shout out to the Bill's mm. equipment manager who had, mm. who had to clean that. Had to do that laundry. Mm. Oh. I'm just picturing that beer. Ugh, the beer, I'm, I hate mm. gross, oh, old, stale So beer. disgusting. As we saw there, guys, sports can be very emotional. Yeah. It's easy to get caught up in the moment. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this headline from the Daily Mail about a soccer manager. It says, boss blasts his blanking blank dorking wanderers in viral two minute rant. Wow. Now you might be surprised to find out that as much as it sounds like a British insult, dorking wanderers is actually the name of the team. Oh, wait, for real? Yes. Okay. They're from the town of Dorking. Oh. <laughs> Dorking Wanderers. They play in the uh, fifth tier league in England, so they're like semi pro. Okay. They recently lost 2 0 to Horsham in the FA Cup tournament. Now, Horsham actually plays two leagues lower than oh. Dorking. Wow. <laughs> okay. Afterwards, Dorking manager Mark White was gracious to the opponents, wished them well in the tournament. Uh huh. And had some other stuff to say too. Uh, they get something um, amazing that's life changing. So my <laughs> players can learn <laughs> lesson. Oh, so my blanking blank players can learn a blanking oh lesson. My. He said, oh. oh, that's pretty rough. But soccer is a team sport. Yes. You win as a team mm -hmm. and you lose as a team. Yeah. No. <laughs> White then started calling out individual players. Oh. Ricks, poor, um, Tom Blair, atrocious. Um, and they should be called out because they get told when they do well. <laughs> players get paid, they should do a great job. If they don't do a great job, you know, they should at least go down fighting. <laughs> oh. He's getting hypey. He's the, uh, he's the Gordon Ramsay of yeah. middle tier British soccer. Wow. Wowzers. Wow. I'll say this. I mean, he probably reflected what the fans were saying. Well, that's true, too. I, mean, I said almost the exact same thing about the Chargers last night. Yeah. <laughs> the blanking blanks. Blankety blank blank. Dorking. Blank. Yeah. I'm going to be like that fan. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a British insult? You talking wanderer! It totally does. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Great. The That's dorking great. wanderers. All right, see. that was the weird world of sports, guys. The sports segment for people who don't like sports. I'm gonna go see if they have merch. Be right back. We'll be right sure back. They do.